Okay, time for hands-on challenge. So, create an Apex REST service that returns an account and its contacts. We are going to create an Apex class. Its name is Account Manager. Let's do that. Go to your developer console from your tra Trailhead Playground and file new Apex class. Account Manager. So, the Apex class must have a method called getAccount that is annotated with HTTP get and returns an account object. So the method must return the ID, the name uh, of the for the requested record and all associated contacts with their ID and name. Okay, let's stop at that. So let's refer back to our example from this trail with which is the case manager. This one here. I am actually going to copy the whole thing here and change this to account manager, but delete the methods we don't need. So here is account manager and the URL must be accounts then account ID. Okay, so REST resource URL mapping is accounts, right? Or account, accounts. So we have this and then I'm going to delete the rest of the methods as we don't need them. Boom. So HTTP get as it is requested and the method name would be get account. Okay, get account. So. Oh, the accessible um, URL is accounts, account IDs, and then slash contacts. So actually it's slash contacts, like that, okay? Slash contacts, okay? Okay, we got that, so we almost missed that. So, change the method name to get account and it is a account instead of a case is the account object all right so rest request rest request so here we have case id we have to change this to account id i'm going to take this out and change this to this code so string account id request dot request URI sub string between accounts and contacts. So this is the account ID that we want to grab, which is this. Okay. So the account, which is the result is, I'm going to take this out here, select ID and name, right? From the account object where ID equals account ID here. Now we also need to get the contacts, right? As the trail requested, also get the contacts, associated contacts with their ID and name. So how do you do that? It's pretty simple. So if I go back here, comma, and then I do a parenthesis there over there then select id comma name from contacts oops oops what happened there dude contacts so it's going to select the id and the name of the contacts that's related to the account also the name and id of the account and that's it you return the result, which is an account object.
Okay, so I'm gonna save that. So we have the account manager class. Okay, so now, do we wanna test this? Let's test this out. So accounts star contacts, right? So if I go back to my playground over here, let's bring to um, an account that has a couple of contacts. So I just want to test it out, uh, test it out, make sure my class is good. So let's see universal container. How many? It has zero contacts. Let's go from the contacts then. If I go from the contacts, so let's say Bray, Brian Dent here. Oh wait, that's a bad example. Let's do Edna Frank. So the account is Gene Point, right? And I'm gonna go to Gene Point and make another contact. So it has one contact, Edna Frank. I'm gonna make another one. Let's name it Frank Boom. <laughs> whatever right and I want to save it so that now gene point have two contacts Frank boom and Edna Frank now I'm gonna try it out to go to my workbench first um, not verse version 48 and go to utilities rest explorer so services we are going to go to accounts and then contacts and this is the record ID, right? So, services, so what's the URL again? Let's see, I forgot the actual URL. We can, um, services Apex REST, right? Let's go up here, I think it's Apex REST. Test your Apex REST class. Services is, yes, Apex REST. All right, so workbench here. Sur services, Apex REST, and accounts. I'm gonna put my gene point account ID here. And change the start to the actual record and execute. There, we have contacts, records, at and Frank, boom. So our class is working just fine there, as expected. Now, the next step is we want to create the test class, okay? So it's, this is already working. Now, let's create the test class, which the name is account manager test. So let's do that, I'm gonna copy that. Flip back to my developer console apex class new account manager test so let's take a look from the case manager test we are again going to copy the whole thing here put it here bam and we are going to take out all the other methods here Take them out. Account manager test. Account manager test. And uh, the method name is test get case by ID. Create test record. Let's do test get account or get contacts, get contacts by account ID, right? So create test record, which is this one, is gonna create it, we're gonna fix that later. And then do all this, and then this, this account, okay, 
account manager dot what is the method name get account copy from here get account and then assert this account make sure it is not now and then assert equal task record this account dot subject this account dot name the account name probably let's just do that and then create uh, this is account right account test new account name test record that's it we just need the name insert account test return case test.id account test.id okay now we also need to create a wait we have a couple of problems there oh illegal assignment from oh this is an account right as it equals task record this account dot name i think that should be good but we still need to create the contacts right because we are going to get the contacts so we have the account id now let's make another contact here make a contact so here contact contact one equals oh, we we can just create new con, uh, one contact right contact um, let's name it new or contact test equals new contact and the first name is John last name is do account id is this one account id is account task dot id okay so this is the account id account task dot id and then insert contact test there so we created an account and then we created a contact and associate that contact with the account and we're done i'm going to save this so this is our test class so this has been modified i was testing it so you have to change this to apex rest slash accounts and then in between is the record id right the one that we just created over here and then contact so this way the record id will be parsed and we have the actual record id so with that we created this um, account test and the contact test and now let's run the test okay it's all green if i scroll up a bit here it's green and then account manager it has to be 100 percent there it's 100 percent so we are good to go now we can actually grab our 500 points as it has been tested and i'll see you on the next module boom woohoo shiny new badge i will see you on the next module bada bing Bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video 
and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.